So today, Anna Brown's day car said that it's time to be real, but we have no idea what that means. So we all are definitely nervous at this point. I feel like there's ominous vibes right now. What the f is about to happen? I mean, when we heard that there might be a bonfire, I heard s'mores, you know? And I don't think there's gonna be one ounce of chocolate anywhere to be found. So I know things are gonna get shaken up. I feel like the date card kind of made it seem like stuff's gonna get aired out. And we just never know what's gonna come with that. So it's been a long day for me because Kylie and Aiden have been gone for a very long time. So I am definitely nervous to see what Kylie has to say after her date. Someone hopefully brought marshmallows. Hi. Hi. Hey. How is it? How is Aiden? Hi. What's going on? Hi. Hello. 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 Hi, nice guys. Nice to see you all. We're back. Avon and I are returning from our date. I have zero clue of what I'm walking into. So I am nervous. What's up, dude? So I'm kind of just sitting here, like, at the edge of my seat, like, what's about to happen? Wow, everyone's so quiet. What's up? You guys have a good time? That yeah, was fun. It was a lot of fun. Can we know what you did? Yeah, what'd you do? I don't What did we do? We went on a boat. Nice. Oh. Nice. So Will has been sad boy all day. I'm assuming Will's gonna want to talk to Kylie. I'm sure right now he's kind of just questioning where he stands and where things are gonna go. Yeah, but we're more interested to hear about y'all stay. What did we miss? Hannah Brown came down. She did, yeah, with a date card. And the date card said something about a fire and then like get ready for burning questions. Oh. What did I walk up into? I'm scared. <laughs> I have a feeling after this bonfire, a lot of things are gonna be different. Uh oh. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. Welcome to the first official Paradise Bonfire. Woo. Uh, when I think back now on my time as a bachelorette, if I have one serious regret, it is that I didn't get to the truth sooner. So tonight, I'm going to ask some important questions. It is up to you all to be real and to be honest with your answers. I don't know if everyone here in Paradise is quite ready for the Paradise Bonfire, but tonight, I want to just figure out who has a connection, who is upset with each other, and just really get to know all the tea. Something happens to me here, I'm like, <laughs> It's gonna be fun. Let's yeah. do this, okay? <laughs> I am having palpitations. Kat, who would you like to have a connection with in paradise? Actually, today, Peter said I was hot. I was like, oh, I didn't even know that you like were attracted to me. And so I was like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> okay. Um, Brooklyn, if you could kiss someone on the beach, who would it be? Um, Peter. Okay. We just want to be wanted, right? It's a yeah. great, it's a great compliment. Brooklyn's a beautiful woman, so love that. Kiss, 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 kiss. Not in front of everybody. Kiss, kiss. I love this, y'all. This is. <laughs> Things are heating up. Okay, Sean. Hi, Hannah. Hi. How are you? How confident are you? feeling about your current connection here in Paradise? I feel pretty confident. However, it's still so early, so I kind of have like my guard up, but I feel great about us right now. Wait, but, who's us? I uh, mean, Rachel. Okay. Feel good. Rachel, how are you feeling about things with Sean? Yeah, I'm so pleasantly surprised that we met. And yeah, it's just, I think, exciting for what's to come. Um, Sean, is there anyone else that you have your eyes on here in Paradise? We were like hoping we'd be roasting marshmallows in Kumbaya, but like very quickly we realized that this is not that style of bonfire and we're about to air out some uh, Yeah, I would say truthfully, I came down here and like one person on my list was Jess. Sean looked right at me <laughs> and said me, but I'm feeling really good about Blake because Everything he says is with honesty, and I know he likes sweet. Blake, um, have you already picked your connection here, or are you open to meeting other people? I don't know if I would risk ruining 
Jess and I connection with anyone else here at the moment, but I would say I would be still open to the potential if someone came down. That was not very fun to hear, and it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. Oh my god. I have hives again. Cat, do you think your current connection could actually last in real life? For right now, I'm seeing it as possibly having a future. I definitely like Cat, and I definitely want to see what kind of potential there could be, you know, outside of it too. I am so thirsty for the sea. I am parched. If you could pick one other person besides Kat to go on a date with, who would it be? No, 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 no. Like, I have one track mind right now, and it's like, it's just to get to know this amazing woman. Hey, Kat, are you waiting for anyone else to come to paradise? Um, I mean, there was people that I was also possibly expecting to see here. Well, I am going to ask. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw that. Who? Um, Tyler Norris is one of them. Tanner as well, I think, from your guys' season. But like I said, I don't even know. We'll see. Hearing that from Kat, definitely not sitting well with me. Because it's like, she might just be using me to get a rose this week. Aaron B, do you have eyes for multiple women here? <laughs> oh. I don't. Do you have your eyes on someone here? For sure, yeah. You do? Yeah. We all know that. Aaron B has a great connection with Eliza. He also had an incredible conversation with Mercedes in night one. So this is going to hurt for one of these girls. You want to tell us? It's definitely Eliza. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. That's sweet. Aaron B is all in on Eliza, which is just to hear in general. Uh, Kylie, who do you feel is the best kisser in paradise? Um, I would say I had more kisses with Avon, so I can see I had more to go off of. Okay. I'm shocked because our kiss really weighed in on me and it, and it gave me good feeling. So this is very hard to hear. Like, it sucks. Avon, you went on a date today. Could it be a love connection? Yeah, I think the date was amazing. Um, yeah, we had a great day. I think, you know, right now, definitely focused on moving forward and seeing where that can go. Avon, if you had to choose someone else who could have gone on the date with you today, who would that have been? I mean, I think right now, probably Olivia. Hearing that Avon was open to exploring a connection with me. I'm hopeful, period. So, Kylie, game on. Absolutely, yeah. I would have loved to go on the date. Um, I think Avon's great. I mean, yeah. Whoa, OK. Olivia, if you could send one person home from paradise to make your life easier, who would it be? <laughs> Kylie. <laughs> it would be Kylie. Do you feel like you've been done dirty in some Absolutely. way? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. By who and why? Kylie. Getting crucified by Olivia, like, I don't think it's fair. And for her to call me out the way she did, and with her attitude, like, it wasn't needed. It wasn't. It's just like a lot of shady things kind of happening, so that would be my reason to send Kylie home. No, screw you. Just quit, like, stop talking while you're ahead because at this point, like, you're just sounding stupid and rude. Thoughts have been fired. So, Will. Yes. Um, last question. What would be a happy ending in paradise for you, and what would that look like? Leaving with someone. Leaving engaged together? Ideally engaged, yes. OK, cool. All right. Thank you all so much for Thank you. Thank you. doing this Thank with me. You. The night was definitely a success, but I do think later tonight some things could blow up. I really hope somebody finds love here. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm out. <laughs> love is a choice, and with Kylie, my feelings have not changed. So tonight, I just want to chat it up with her and just keep falling for each other because 
I still think that there's the second page of our love story to be written.